What's up guys, this is the second video for y'all, in the second video we're going to be reacting to my Pyromanic Brother by Ham and Nations, Ham and Nations. I think I did one reaction for a minute, that was like probably like last year, I don't know, it was last year or, I don't know, when was this, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, but, okay, we're going to react to another Feel me? So anyway, guys, if you guys want more, more of this, y'all know what to do. I click the button down below. Let's start this video. Let's get it. Hi, welcome to Bryson's Cooking Show. Today we are cooking cereal. First add cereal, then... But Bryson, what if I like pouring the milk first? Yeah, I don't know who put cereal first, like, bro. Like, you, now you just wasted... This cereal, now you, gotta, you have to do all that extra shit. Like, you gotta open the cereal box and then pour the cereal back in the box. Like, hell no. That's why you look for milk first. And you put the milk in first, then the cereal. As I was saying, first add cereal, then milk, and voila, we've got cereal. What? Wait, wait, no. The gates of hell open wide to receive thy soul. No. What the fuck is this? El Diablo, like, damn. He, he, like, this man really made Satan really Satan, like, damn. I submit like, myself to unending torment. I thought he was gonna make him like a regular human. Nah, he made him Satan into a very Satan, like, the heck? No, please, I'm a good boy! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm Bryson, and I once started a grease fire in my house. And believe it or not, this is not the first fire that the Haminations family has endured. Let me start at the beginning. Now, almost all these stories revolve around one sibling, the pyromaniac of the family, my oldest brother, Brody. Now, before- Sorry guys, I'm back. Let's start this video, let's get it. Decimate my brother's reputation, slander his name permanently, and ensure that he's never allowed within 500 feet of a lighter ever again. Let me just preface with this. I love you, Brody. Our journey begins when Brody was three years old. I remember it like it was yesterday. Except I wasn't even born yet. My family was visiting our grandparents and uncles, and my uncle Mark decided to have some bonding time with Brody. It remains a mystery to this day what Uncle Mark was thinking, but he decided to teach Brody how to use a lighter and how to lock doors. Two Why in the hell is you teaching a three-year-old jit? To teach her about fire. You want him to commit arsenal or arson? Like, what is he doing, bro? Like, he's not gonna turn into human torch. Like, like, what's like, what's the point of this? Two essential skills for any three-year-old, obviously. In one fell swoop, this knowledge transformed Brody from a harmless toddler to a dangerous fire hazard capable of burning the house down. And there's an ad coming. Let me mute this part. Hold up. Hold up. Wake a logo maker. Build your brand online Wix with a beautiful logo. Wix late Lego Mint. Start your design your logo. Joy pets. Gotta make them smile. What's your logo for? A pet store. How should your logo look and feel? Fun, playful, fresh. Next. Which of these logo do you look better? My 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 my, my logo. Click every. You, you can choose whatever logo. Click website or social media or others. You know. You do you. Create choices. Done. That's all you do. Now you look at variables of websites. You edit them. Yeah. You click them. You know, there's dogs, cats, EDP. Now click on Pest Store. Now get started. Yes, yeah, so you can click, you know, put them on whatever foods and pets for all pets. Wix. Create your personal logo today. I don't know my face with that to use immediately. He locked himself in Grandma's room, hid under the bed, and started melting the wax under there. The bottom of the bed began to burn, and the wax started melting down onto the carpet. The family smelled the smoke and ran around the house looking for Brody. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay 
But the door was locked. When they finally got in, they saw Brody with a lighter in hand standing next to a burning bed. They put the fire out. How would you either, either way teach a three? I, 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 my, me, me personally, I wouldn't have not done that. How to even know? I didn't even trust my own self with fire. How no. Out quickly as Brody watched. Even though I wasn't there, I can imagine Brody grinning to himself because born inside him at that moment was a flame that would never go out. This was the beginning of a lifetime of pyromania. My parents were rightfully mad at Uncle Mark and years later they got back at him. Uncle Mark's son was very young and my parents were visiting. Hey little guy, come here. I'm gonna teach you how to use a lighter. No, no, no! Skip it up and up. Does your family have a pyromaniac, or are you normal? My man, we're normal. The goal is to blow up. The next incident happened one year later. Brody was four, and I remember it like it was yesterday. Except I was still not born yet. Mom was outside the house talking to a friend, and Brody was inside unattended. He decided that he wanted a hot dog. He had seen our parents use the microwave before and thought, Oh, I just need to put it in the microwave, hit a couple buttons, and hit start. So that's exactly what he did. But he unknowingly set it to over an hour. A while later, Mom's friend noticed smoke coming out of the windows in the house. Mom ran inside in a panic and found Brody with his hot dog. I tried to make a hot dog, but you look, bro. You're lucky that you got white parents because if you're Caribbean, but bro. They will, they'll grab a branch and so let me not say too much because I'm not trying to get them arrested. But, you know, America, they call that abuse. But, you know, they come, uh, uh, just know that uh, you're going to be, you, after when they do what they do to you, you're going to be in that bathroom. <laughs> you're going to be like, you feel me? Like, so. <laughs> You lucky, bro. You lucky. Oh my god, it was a piece of poop! The hot dog was reduced to a flaming carbon crisp, burnt to the very core. And that's how my family house almost got burnt down by a hot dog. Then the next year, when Brody was five, he got glasses. This time, I remember it clearly. Except I still hadn't been born yet. Once again, he was left unattended in the kitchen. Brody found a lighter, Why do you put him near- I, I, I hope that this is fake. Cause I want to say this, but I don't know. I f with this dude, but why in the hell is your parent putting him in the kitchen? Like sat on the counter and began crazy. lighting it over and over. You know, for entertainment. Then he thought, I wonder if my glasses are fireproof. He slowly began to raise the lighter closer and closer to his face, and the lens cracked. Mom? What? What was that noise? Did you break your glasses? Yes. <laughs> and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, I thought he was gonna like damage his eyes too since glasses bursting. I thought he was gonna go through his eye. Or fireberg. Or Brody, in his teenage and adult life, has regularly set paper towels on fire on the counter, started fires outside for no reason, and put tin foil in the microwave. I'm not even joking. Hey, Brody, what are you cooking? Uh... And when Brody was six, he had to be held on a leash whenever he would go out. Yeah, he was one of those kids. However, even the leash could not contain his chaotic nature, because somehow, in one day, Brody set off a car alarm, an elevator alarm, and an airport alarm. Ah! If you haven't figured it out yet, let me just spell it out for you. Brody was a menace to society. He's still a menace, but his wife keeps him in check. Most of the time. Now, all these stories were about Brody, but this isn't Brody's channel. Now it's time to talk about how I started a fire. But at least it was an accident, unlike Brody who set stuff on fire on purpose. Also, all Brody's stories happened when I was just an unborn soul vibing in the quantum abyss. I kinda miss it. Anyway, on to my grease fire story. At this point, I had finally been born and I was about to start a family recipe with my roommate Dallin. The chicken was defrosting and it was almost ready. So I put some oil in a pot and set the uh, stove on- I told you I don't do fires like- Anything fire work- fire 
stuff. I, I stay ten feet away from it. I don't trust. I don't. I don't know how to cook, and I'm glad. I don't trust myself with a stove. Um, those barbecues thing. Like you know when you do the barbecue, the oven. Not, how do you call that shit again? Is it ovens? Like when you go outside and you barbecue. I don't know how you call it. BBQ. I don't know. I don't. Anything that has fire in it, I, I stay 10 feet away from it. I, I don't trust myself with fire. I'm a very clumsy person. I don't trust myself with fire. You feel me? On low to heat up and be ready for the chicken. At least I thought I did, but I accidentally put the heat on maximum overdrive. Yeah. Then I got distracted talking to Dallin and forgot all about the chicken. Yes. After a while, the room suddenly started filling with smoke. I wonder what that could be. We looked and saw a plume of smoke coming from the pot. As I ran over to try and fix my horrible mistake, the smoke caught fire and blazed forth an eerie orange glow. I saw into hell in that moment, and the face of Satan stared back at me. Then, for an excruciating couple seconds, I sat there frozen, wondering what to do. Have you heard the term fight or flight? Well, there's. I heard that. It, I heard that you. I, I. 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 Like. 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 I heard that that you're not supposed to. Pour, like you're not supposed to use water. I'm like nigga. I'm like isn't. I. Uh, I heard you have to either use baking soda or. Um, I thought water kills. Like. I don't know, man. Like you feel me? Like I'm, I'm just. Actually, a third option: freeze. And my brain chose freeze. Dallin saw that I was paralyzed and quickly jumped into action. He grabbed a bowl and carefully covered the pot and extinguished the flame. I was so embarrassed that my big, strong roommate had to save me. I very gingerly helped get rid of the smoke by opening the windows. I cooled and cleaned the pot and very carefully finished the recipe. Mmm, so good and... There's another egg coming. Let's see this. Are you dumb? By when? Was this approval of a measurement in an entire landing page in the onboard video? Let me just check my schedule. Just go Fiverr. So perhaps we'll just add another kid on me. Don't forget the grant chart. I have to visualize it first. Think about it. Yo, okay. Can't even fucking read. Like, I also apologize profusely to Dallin, who insisted that it wasn't a big deal. I honestly can't properly explain how embarrassed and ashamed I was. I was just trying to be an adult and make a meal and I almost burned my house down. But I learned a valuable lesson. The lesson is, have a roommate who's not afraid of fire. I will be more careful in the future and hopefully next time I won't freeze. To end things off, I want to encourage you all to be careful and cautious when cooking because you could literally die. Also, stay away from Brody or he will burn down your house. Fortunately, fire won't be an issue for me because since my fire incident, I have mastered water bending. And I like can we talk about why a grown man is teaching a three-year-old kid about how to lit a night of fire? I, if it's like the Walking Dead era, then the Last of Us era, then probably. But like, this is normal society. Well, I can't say normal because we got school shootings, we got niggas killing. Well, nah, I don't want to say normal, but you know. But still, I'm like, damn. Like, I've mastered fire bending. Don't do this, Brody. Don't challenge me. It won't end well. Clean. That was fun. If you are really a water, like, this nigga is standing on top of water, why not just, 
like levitate the water like you're Jesus. Like, bro, like, like, bro, you, he's literally staying on the water, nigga. You have the advantage. Just lift the joint like you're Jesus. The five that's like, bro, like, is you doing? Like, you're just wasting, like, like, bro, he can literally just, he's lit. The guy with firepower is standing on water, and this dude is a water bending. Don't you, could you just not make a wave and then make it, like, bro, like, bro, like, what? I'm sparing you, brother. I'm letting you go in the name of our past friendship. But I warn you, even a single step out of line will result in your permanent end. Whatever, this game sucks anyway. You're just mad because you lost. Maybe, but at least my house isn't on fire. Hi, thanks for watching. Wasn't that fight scene amazing? My it was, but um, yeah. My team did a fantastic job animating it. Thanks to Rushlight Invader and Aroa for storyboarding it, and thanks to my brother Brody for making the music for the fight. His wife played the flute for it as well. Links for them and the rest of my amazing team are down below. If you want to support me and the team to keep making these videos, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Link below. Also, I had a blast at VidCon. Thanks to everyone who came up and said hi at my meet and greets and came to my panels. It was a blast. Your support puts me in this position and it's a dream come true, so thank you so much. I really appreciate your guys' love and support. Thanks for everything and goodbye forever. The fuck? <laughs> oh, you know, banger video, you feel me? Oh! God, I'm tired. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't a love for me. Banger video, you feel me? Um, bro, like, we need to, bro, like, we need to lock up this dude up, bro. Why are you teaching me, like, bro, like, bro, like, bro, like, like, let's not skip that part, bro. Like, I, I really hope that this man is capping about this, because he really put, like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. You know, don't play with fire. Don't like I. I stay away from it. You know, I stay away from it because I don't trust myself with it. Hell no. Do I look like playing with fire? Hell no. I'm not no human torch. The hell. But anyway, guys, this has been my pyromaniac brother by Hammond Nations banger video. Man, shout out to you, man. Is a go. You sound like you're like 16 or 17. I don't know. Or you're giving me college talk vibes. I don't know. It could be one of them. But shout, out, but shout out to you, bro. Um. <clears throat> anyway, guys, if you guys want more, just y'all know what to do, man. Click the button down below. Give me the 2K subscribers, man. And share this video so more people will come in. Um, and yeah, you guys take care. And read books, work out. And yeah, I'm out to the joint. Peace.